Hello everybody, so um, I made a video saying that I was going to be going to Bunny aka Graveyard Girls meet and greet today, well technically yesterday, <laughs> um, in New York City and she made a video herself about it with all the details and said that New York City probably isn't the most convenient location for everyone. But, you know, it's going to go ahead and do it anyway, which was so sweet of her. And my dad drove my mom and I to the city. And as we were driving, my dad's like, it's only 31 miles. I'm like, not bad. So, um, we, I don't remember exactly what time we left. But we wanted to get there around 4 o'clock. Because I thought that... The meet and greet was going to be like physically at like a Tarte Cosmetics location, like a store. So when I emailed, ooh, my finger. When I emailed my dad the address and everything, when he looked it up, he said it was a drugstore. It just came up for Dwayne Weed. Dwayne Weed, you know, the drugstores in New York City. So, um,. He was a little concerned, and I told him and my mom that I, like, tripled, double-checked everything, like, um, her Facebook, her YouTube, her Instagram, and even on Tarts, Facebook, and Instagram, and everything was the same address. So my mom did some Googling earlier, and got a hold of someone, and they said, you know, it's like, I think it was, like, upstairs in a studio, like, in a building. And that, you know, you'll see it because there's a line of people. So, my mom figured, let's beat the lunch crowd and go, like, before dinner. So, like, at 4. Because, you know, it's over at 6. So, we get there and my parents, especially my dad, were like, oh my god. Because the line was so long. I think it was, like, two plus blocks from where this thing was being held at. Because, like, you kept walking, and then, like, you kept having to, like, turn a corner and go left, and then you're like, when's the line going to end? So, my dad found somewhere to go do his work. And my mom and I stood in line, and I had a bag of goodies for a bunny, and my mom made our gift basket and put some things in there. And so, there we are, like, standing, my mom's holding the gift basket, I'm holding my bag, and... My mom was, like, getting tired of holding the basket. So she went to Victoria's Secret and just got a shopping bag to put it in so she could, like, put it down. And then every time when we, the line would move up, she would just, you know, carry the bag. And it seemed like every time the line would move, we'd, like, take 14 steps. But we'd, like, be waiting, like, 10 to 15 minutes, you know? I mean, we slowly were getting there. But then, like, people, the security guy, I'm assuming that's what he was, he kept telling everybody, like, pushing us back to the wall. Um, so, basically, they said, like, there's 45 minutes left and, like, 15 minutes left and that, you know, she is not staying any later than 6 and that we might get a chance to see her and that she will not be like coming out to so just like wave hello and say hi to everybody that couldn't make it in because there wasn't enough security and I knew going in that it would be like kind of crazy and busy but my parents are and I had no clue how crazy and busy it was going to be um it was funny because like we're standing in line and like random people are walking by and they're just like what are y'all in line for and we're like a youtuber and they're like who what and we're like bunny graveyard girl and they're like does she sing like what does she do and my mom's like no she just talks about like makeup and like random things and does like different stuff and they're like oh like people thought we were weird but whatever <laughs> so um what ended up happening was they said it was like over but they're still my mom's like we might see her so we then like a bunch of people who were still sticking around crowded around the front of the building and it was like crazy and ridiculous and everyone's like screaming 
calling her name and yelling that they want to see Bunny and then everybody's singing sassy, 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 so sassy. They're like trying to get her attention and want her to come out, but the only people that were coming out were the people that were still inside. So things are getting like crazy and hectic and this is on Broadway Street, which is like a tiny narrow road and everybody like practically shut down Broadway Street. They were like hogging the road and there's people in line saying that they came all the way from Michigan, like craziness. So my mom is a smart lady and she, cause on like above the door it said there was a freight entrance like around the corner. So I'm like, well, what do we do? So we decided to go there because we figured she has to come out somewhere and that there's no way that she could make it out of the front entrance because it was just madness. And I don't know if she ever really popped out on the balcony but people were coming out and everyone's like waving and screaming and it was just like crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, is that like a... Getting distracted. <laughs> um... So there was like a smaller crowd and then things kind of died down in the front. So we just assumed like, I was hoping she hadn't left, but just assumed like maybe people had given up. But then we started making a little ruckus a little bit. Well, not me, but the people around me. So then people from the front started coming around and we're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. at least I was like that. So then um, everyone around where I was, they're like, everybody, don't raise your hand, don't make a noise, like, let's not tip off the people in the front of the building that um, she's probably coming out the back door because she was, was the, hello, there's security people there, and they were waiting for the car that was coming to pick her up. So, but then at some point, I don't know, some hype was going on in the front of the building, and I was keeping my eye on the security guy because he's like because he kept smirking so I'm like he knows something is up like he knows the deal like he knows what time it is so when there was ruckus in the front he kept like trying to encourage people to leave where they were to go back around to the front of the building and my mom's like that's just a decoy it's just a decoy and I'm like you're probably right so we stay where we were and I I just wanted her to have like the gifts. So like my mom was asking like the security guard people and the other person that was there like could they pass it along? They said no. My mom even once the car got there to pick Bunny up, she even like knocked on the driver's window like can I give you this? And they're like no. So my mom's like you know it's New York gotta be careful like I don't know people could think you're giving them anything. So, um, but there was this guy, and he was a blonde guy with glasses, and he, you know, was telling people things, and he was with this security type person now, and I figured he's the guy you want to give the gifts to, like, he is something, like, I don't know if he's part of our camp or what, but I'm like, I kept trying to find him, because I'm like, he is the guy. So, but it was funny, though, because, um backtracking when we were like first kind of in line there is this guy who's like a doorman or something and he didn't know what the hype was all about it's like i don't get it i had to like research it he was watching one of her youtube videos and even then he's like i still don't get it but it was just so fun like being around all like these people that like bunny and just like talking about her in her videos and like using her lingo and it's just like fun and like people some people were like upset that they didn't get to see her. There's like this little kid, like she really has like a wide variety fan base. There's this little cute kid. He's like, I have to see her, I have to see her. And then someone I guess decided to give up and when they started to take their kid away, like I don't know how old she was. She wasn't little, but maybe like preteen or teen. Um she just started crying hysterically. I'm like, wow. So, um uh, we stuck around, and my mom's like, let's just wait by the car, and not by the door. So we're waiting by the car, and we saw, well, what I saw was her red lips, like a profile, and in the back of Dogman's head, a ponytail, so he was with her. And, because they had people, like, surrounding her to, like, rush her into the vehicle to then take off, but you could sort of see, like, through the tinted windows that she was, like, waving to people, so I'm like, oh, hey. So I didn't really get to meet her, but I did get to sort of see her, 
So then the guy, the blonde guy with the glasses, came back out, and we went up to him, and my mom's like, because my mom was saying I could always mail the stuff, but, like, you can't really mail a gift basket through the post office because it's perishable, and it's just like, ugh. So she was telling the guy, like, is there any way that you could, like, get this to her because it's a perishable item? And then he's like, oh, yeah, he said that tart because Tarte Cosmetics was hosting this thing that all of her presents that they were going to get to her somehow. So whether that was they were going to bring it to her hotel or ship it back to Texas, don't know. Because surprisingly she flew. <laughs> That's like exciting. <laughs> she's like doesn't like to fly like me. So, um, so while he was going to take the muffin basket, I handed him my bag of goodies. So I honestly hope that she does get everything. And it was like... Really, 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 really crazy. Yeah, so there I am standing in line with the muffin basket with some important information here, which I hope she gets and reads. And it'd be so awesome if, like, she did a video, like I said, and I don't know, if some of my stuff was included. That would make my day. And here I am again online waiting <laughs> and waiting some more. And then you can see here all these people like lined up. The line like took forever. And even when like they figured out um, that from where we were um, back, we really weren't going to get a chance to meet her. They started telling people like way at the back of the line. But even then some people were still hanging around. And there again, as you can see hopefully more clearly in this photo, the line is like forever long. So this is a huge crowd of people and like there's a Dwayne Reed. So right up above there in this building is where she was with her meet and greet. And as you can see everyone has like their cameras and their cell phones and um just waiting for her to come out of that door. And you're lucky if you're a little kid, you can sit on like your parents' shoulders. I'm like thinking, can I sit on my mom's shoulders? <laughs> so you get a better view because like people are like pushing and shoving just to get through to like be to the close to the front to see and I'm just like okay I don't I don't I'm not a fan of crowds and people pushing and stuff shoving and screaming but nevertheless here I am amongst the people trying to get a glimpse to see because the door kept opening and of course everyone gets excited but it's really just like I said some other fans that were leaving the building that were still upstairs so Nothing too exciting about that. So then this is the freight entrance in the back. And this is where we were standing. And that's like the security guard guy. And I don't know who that is. But he was with them most of the time. And he was the guy I had my eye on. Because he was trying to get us all to go back to the front of the building. But no one really budged. And he was the one that kept smirking. And I'm like, eh, he knows what's up. And I'm not moving from that post. So I think it's kind of blurry, but everyone started like heading um, towards the car. Oh my gosh, there's Bunny right there. So we have our sunflower and she had a hat on and there's her red lips. I'm like, I see the red lips. So he's like trying to, you know, tell people to like get back. But ooh, there she is. So exciting. And then it's hard to tell, but there's like a bunch of security people like trying to clear a path for her to get through and oh yeah there she is there she is and there's dog man so i'm like standing back this away yet and i saw her profile and her red lips and i saw dog man's ponytail and it was just so cool just like seeing them walk by i'm like oh my god there she is ah there's a better close-up of Bunny and Dog Man there, um, and as you can see, there's people kind of surrounding them, really trying to like whisk them off away into her car. That's probably going to be taking her back to her hotel. And there she is, or they, I should say, she's with her boyfriend, haha, <laughs> getting in the car right there. And funness. And oh, as you can probably see, like then everyone starts swarming to the vehicles like craziness. Um, and then they're taking off and everyone's like, there's people, oh, can you tell there's people on the other side? And they're like, get out of the road. So, yeah, right there, there it is. People in the streets being told to get out and then 
They're in there and she was waving. And there's my mom and I. <laughs> So I'm not sure if you heard all of that basically. There was a crowd of people um screaming, hooting and hollering, like we want bunny, let's see bunny in. Yeah. So that was my crazy wild adventure. After that we had dinner, walked around a bit in the city and I got kind of tired and in a weird mood. So um we drove home and I actually fell asleep in the car at home and then we had to stop at the grocery store because we needed water bottles because we were out of them and we were in the cherries that my mom bought, they were disgusting but she ate them anyway but she got a new bag that they taste a lot better. I know this is a tangent but anyway and then my dad dropped us off home sneezing his head off realizing while he they were in the grocery store he should have bought himself some nasal cords. But anyway that is my adventure. And, um, I'm looking forward to many more adventures this summer. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much for being here and so much for watching this video and for all the support and every time you share a video, it makes me smile. So thank you, thank you so much. And as always, till next time, keep it quirky.